Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist and YouTuber Pat Prokop and today is Thursday, January the 16th. There's been a lot of talk about potential snowstorm or ice storm across the Southeast United States, including uh, Georgia and South Carolina for next week, along about Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, or Tuesday night or Wednesday, depending on what model you're looking at, or the potential of actually nothing going on whatsoever. That's the, the, the uh, delusion <laughs> that we're going through right now is which model should we be following? And uh, again, the models have haven't changed all that much from yesterday, meaning that they're still not agreeing with each other. However, it seems to be leaning toward the potential for the major ice storm across the Southeast United States, particularly in the greater Savannah states, Statesboro down to Brunswick area, over into South Central Georgia, over into the Eastern South Carolina, including Bluffton and Hilton Head Island and Buford. We might be in for a significant ice storm. This is going to be a short video. I'm going to ask you to look at the video I did yesterday if you haven't already seen that uh, a little bit more in detail, but nothing has really changed that much since yesterday, so we're still watching uh, the conditions. So with that being said, let's take a quick look at the maps and the GFS, the global forecast model. This is the model that usually I lean heavily on because it's a great model. Um, but let's take a look and see what it's doing for today. And here, a quick look into the day. We have, it's beautiful weather outside this afternoon as forecast, but uh, going into Saturday and Sunday, we're seeing rain moving in across our region here. Uh, but a mild rain at that with temperatures in the 60s and then going into Sunday, a little bit more areas of rain. And then some colder air flows in behind this system, uh, allowing for uh, the temperatures to drop to below freezing uh, Monday night into uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday night. And only in the 30s, perhaps, for the highs on Tuesday and Wednesday. So any precipitation on those days would be devastating for our area. And looking at the forecast, well, there's... Uh, sunrise on Tuesday and uh, it does show an area of low pressure developing in the Gulf of Mexico and then reforming off the coast of Florida and east southeast of Georgia but that's it it keeps it to the south and to the east of us and that would keep us dry and cold um, so let's push this just a few more days in advance and you can see nothing nothing at all with the GFS. And this is very reliable model. So let's take a look at some of the other models and uh, let's go back to Tuesday afternoon. This will be right about there, one o'clock Tuesday afternoon. Let's take a look at the uh, Canadian Meteorological Center. This is a good model. Uh, it does great in the winter time. It also it did pretty good for the hurricane season as well. There it is on Tuesday. And uh, again, it brings in the uh, snow rain, freezing rain scenario across the southeast as a major winter storm across our area for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And um, let's go into the uh, uh, regional map just real quick, get a closer view of this. And there it is right there. This uh, purple area here, that is freezing rain and sleet. The uh, dark blue area, that is heavy snow. We're talking boatloads of snow in this scenario. Uh, over a half foot of snow or more uh, falling across central Georgia and just about all of South Carolina, if this model is correct. We're still out to 138 hours. As I said in the last several videos, really during this time of the year, uh, beyond 120 hours, everything is very iffy. It shows you the potential of things that could develop, but it doesn't really say what is going to develop. All right, let's take a look at the uh, German model, the ICON uh, model. And uh, well, it's showing uh, precipitation, but it's further northward with the low pressure system, hence warmer air across central and southern Georgia and into uh, eastern South Carolina with moderate to heavy snow, though, from about uh, just north of Interstate 16, uh, again in the Atlanta metropolitan area, and back to Columbia, South Carolina, and uh, over to just about all of North Carolina. But for the uh, Hilton Head area, Savannah, Statesboro, down to Brunswick, uh, it looks like a moderate to heavy rain event for Tuesday. All right. Let's take a look at the ECMWF, the European model. Uh, a lot of people like to watch that one. And this one is kind of like in between everybody. And uh, it shows uh, the uh, system coming in. This is for um, Tuesday at 
uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Here's Tuesday at 7 p.m., and it shows a band of freezing rain and a sleet across southeastern Georgia with a band of um, light to moderate snow across central Georgia into central South Carolina. Also in the coastal areas of South Carolina, uh, down to Savannah, perhaps a light snow to moderate snow falling there. And then let's go another uh, period before after that. And it shows the uh, freezing uh, uh, rain and sleet moving off the coast, but moving into north central portions of Florida. Now, remember yesterday, if you look at yesterday's video, uh, the icon was uh, forecasting this ice storm for north central Florida, the peninsula of Florida. Very unusual event for them. And now the ECMWF is saying that with uh, light snow falling for portions of eastern Georgia and eastern South Carolina. And uh, that's... Um, for one or, uh, 10, 10 o'clock at night on Tuesday, and then uh, 1 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. Still some sleet and freezing rain across southeastern Georgia in the Brunswick area. Freezing rain and sleet in Jacksonville and Gainesville, Florida. That's unbelievable. Anyway, uh, light snow continuing across the coastal areas of Georgia and South Carolina. And then as we go into the next three-hour period, uh, all that precipitation in the Georgia-South Carolina region moves off the coast. And then... Um, all moving eastward out of the northeastern portion of Florida. So the question is, which, uh, which map to follow? And is it the GFS, the CMC, the ICON, or the ECMWF? Uh, each one has a different scenario. Again, we're looking at 140 hours to 132 uh, uh, hours in advance. Once it gets within 120 hours uh, or five days, uh, you, we can start narrowing down. But what this is telling us right now is to, well, be prepared just in case this system does develop into what the CMC uh, says, this model over here. That would be devastating for southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina, most of Georgia and South Carolina, as a matter of fact. Uh, the ECMWF, that would be very devastating for the Jacksonville, Gainesville, Florida area. And it would give us a light snow in the Savannah, Hilton Head area. So whatever model you want, uh, some are praying for the GFS. Some are, are, are liking the icon because they want the rain, but no sleet and freezing rain. Some want the uh, snow. I don't think anybody, if they really know what freezing rain is, do not want to see the CMC come into fruition. Now, uh, j just a quote from the uh, National Weather Service summary. Uh, they have a summary every uh, 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 six hours. They come out with a new, fresh summary, sometimes every three hours. And uh, they, they basically said, thus considerable uncertainty remains with this system and all scenarios are still on the table. Yeah, I'll agree to that. So uh, thanks for watching. If you got a chance, watch this video right here. Uh, that is yesterday's video. Uh, it shows a little bit more entailed. Uh, not much difference from yesterday to today. So we'll have to wait until tomorrow and Saturday to see what else develops. So I'll be doing this for you. Keep an eye on, on my weather channel right here. And thanks for watching.